Hey everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am playing with the Rockstar Bundle from the 2024 Stampin' Up! Spring Mini Catalog. Such a fun bundle. There's uh, pattern paper and embellishments to go along with it. Um, today I'm going to show you how to make this card. I'm going to show you how I made this kind of like fire ombre piece to go behind that vintage looking microphone. Um, we're also going to heat emboss. Um, here is some of that paper as well that I was talking about that coordinates. All right, let's make our ombre piece first. We'll start there. You're gonna need a piece of basic white. I'm gonna bring over my glass mat. Excuse the lights, I know you can see them reflected. Um, I'm gonna use mini blending brushes with Daffodil Delight, Real Red, and Pumpkin Pie. Um, we're just gonna start with our Daffodil Delight at the bottom. Uh, by the way, there's a lot of measurements to this card and I have a free PDF over on my blog that'll have the measurements and uh, the uh, supply list. All right, so you wanna get some Daffodil Delight ink on your small blending brush. And I always like to start off on the, the mat that's behind my paper um, so that I don't leave any hard uh, globs of ink, if you will, when I set it down. I'm gonna go about halfway up. Get nice and intense with that color. All right, and then let's just wipe that all away. And then we will flip it to the other side and get our pumpkin pie. And I'm gonna start down here and work my way down. I'm gonna to get to the yellow and really start to blend those colors together. And I don't wanna to go too far because the um, orange really will overpower that yellow. And I'm just gonna keep working it. Your arm's gonna get a little bit tired. Let's see, I think we're almost there. All right, now I'm gonna go back with my yellow and just kind of blend where those two connect. Just really try to get them blended together. All right, one more swipe of my little microfiber cloth here. And now we're gonna add in red. Red is gonna be your most powerful color, so you're gonna need just a little bit, not a whole lot. And we'll do this down here on this end. See how it just really overtakes right away. I'm gonna go down about a fourth of the way. Okay, and then take your orange and just a little blending right there where they meet. And there you go, you have like a fire piece that looks kind of like, well, to me it looks like fire. All right, let's move this out of the way. We're gonna emboss this with one of our basics embossing folders. And you're gonna need to remove all your plates except for plate one. And then we're gonna set this down in here on our embossing folder. And we're gonna take plate four, lay that down and run it through. And it's gonna give us the coolest looking texture. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Really cool. Okay, so now let's do our that was dry embossing. Now we need to do our heat embossing. And I'm gonna take uh, a piece of basic black. I'm gonna rub my embossing buddy on it to get rid of any static cling that there may be there so it won't hold our embossing crystals in the wrong place. All right, I'm gonna use my uh, Versamark ink pad, which is a clear, sticky ink that's gonna hold those crystals or those granules. I'm going to stamp that right there. You won't be able to really see it yet, but once I get my silver embossing powder and sprinkle that on, you'll be able to see it. All right, really cool. Now you're going to get your heat tool and we're going to hit it with a heat tool for about I don't know, maybe 20 seconds until it's nice and shiny. These little reverse tweezers, the embossing buddy, that tray and a, um, a brush, a paint brush, come in what is called our embossing uh, additions kit. 
If you like to emboss, it's a great little kit to have. Lots of little accessories to help you be successful with your embossing. All right, there we go. You know it's done when it's all nice and shiny. Okay, bring back your cut and emboss machine. And this time we need to put our plates back on. One, two, three. And then we'll get our matching die, which is this one right here. And I've got some post-it tape. When you emboss, your paper gets a little bit warped, which makes it a little bit difficult to um, set your die down flat. So this uh, post-it tape, which I got from Amazon, I'll link it on my blog for you. I'm going to set it right there. Oh, also, you know what? We also need to cut out our two of these lightning bolts we're going to use these kind of as the you know like the noise that's coming out of our microphone all right set those there run it all through and then i think we're ready to put it together look at that beautifully cut all right we've got one lightning bolt and two lightning bolts now let's bring off, bring together all our other pieces. I have a piece of basic black cardstock and a piece of the designer series paper. This is the rock and roll designer series paper that coordinates with our uh, bundle. And I'm going to adhere it to a black mat. The measurements for this will be on a free PDF over on my blog, so make sure you click the link here on youtube and go over there and visit there's some other rock and roll projects there for you as well now i'm going to take my uh, silver trim wrap it around twice and i'm going to put it together put these two together and tie it at the top oh you know what wait a minute wait a minute we forgot the best part hold on i'm glad i didn't tie it we forgot our fire all right, let's get that on there. Then we'll wrap it around. I was thinking something doesn't quite look right here. All right, let's try it again. Wrap it around twice, and I'm gonna crisscross these down here. I'm gonna adjust them. Once I tie the, the bow, it'll be a little bit easier to adjust everything. Tie that bow. Right there, and we've got kind of a mess. Let's see if we can get that straightened out. There we go. Where are my scissors? Let's get cut away all this excess. All right, now I'm gonna take this and push those together like that so that it's there at the top, and then separate those. I have a vellum nested essential die. Um, nested essential vellum shape is what i'm trying to say and let me grab my dimensionals which always seem to disappear here they are under my stamp case all right so i cut it out of vellum this is the second smallest of the little hexagon um, nested essentials nested essential dies and i'm gonna with dimensionals put that right in the middle now I can use that to hide my dimensionals here for the vellum piece. Okay, and we'll put that right in the middle. Now I'm gonna get some dimensionals. Um, and I'm actually gonna do something you might think is kind of weird. I'm gonna get stack two dimensionals on my lightning bolts. And the reason I'm doing this is because we've got two dimensionals we need to um, meet the height of. We've got the, the dimensional behind the microphone and the dimensional behind our um, uh, vellum piece, okay? So two stacked mini dimensionals. And one of the, the lightning bolts goes behind and the other one, if I can get it, the other one's gonna go on the front. Like, like 
that. Okay, like, let's try it again. That, there we go. All right, now for our sentiment, I have already cut out the rectangle from the Everyday Essential Dies, I believe. Make sure you look at my supply list. I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. Now, I'm going to do this in two tones. I'm going to do it in basic black and pumpkin pie. And you can mask it off with post-it tape, or you can be kind of daring like me and see if we can get it. If we can guess. Well, I still can't. I'm not going up high enough over here like that. Well, come on. Maybe we should, there we go, we got it. Okay, and then we'll try the bottom half <laughs> right here. The easiest way to do this is to use your Stampin' Right markers or mask off, but I'm just going for it. Thanks for being an icon. Isn't that a fun sentiment to go along with our um, old timey microphone? I just think it's cute. And that could go, that could be like a Father's Day card, that could be a thank you card, that could be a celebration card, just so many different things that that could, um, you know, represent. Okay, now on the front of a Daffodil Delight card base, and by the way, you could use different colors here. I really kind of went back and forth which color card base I wanted to use. You could use basic black, you could use pumpkin pie, you could use real red, but I thought Daffodil Delight was the best choice. All right, let's look to see what I did on the inside. Aha, let's add a few of our embellishments. These are the adhesive backed lightning and stars embellishments that go with this suite. We're gonna add just a few here in the corner. Put a basic white piece and then I'll just grab a lightning bolt, a big star and a little star. And there you go. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this card. Uh, let me know if you have questions and make sure you hop over to my blog, grab that free PDF and check out those other two rock and roll projects. Have fun stamping. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye.